This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press and Humblewood. Pick up the Humblewood book or box set and get the Riff in the Ash Knight plushie at a discount. Learn more today at humblewood.com. And by our very own Cobalt Plush Kickstarter going on now. Help us unlock all six Cobalts and more. Adopt your own Cobalt Plush adventuring party with swappable clothing and accessories at CobaltPlush.com. Hello, little goblins. Welcome to the Gallant Goblin. Today we have another interesting set of minis from WizKids based on the crossover last year between Dungeons and & Dragons and Magic the Gathering. This set is Companions of the Hall Starter. Many thanks to WizKids for sending it to us to review. It features Driss Dorden and his companions from the R.A. Salvatore D&D novels. If you're a fan of those books, this may be the set you've been waiting for. One great thing about that crossover was that it brought a ton of amazing new art on which WizKids can now design new minis. So Without further ado, let's meet the Companions of the Hall. We'll start with this dramatic mini of the legendary Drist Dwarden. And I'm going to keep things as light and spoiler-free as I can here. If you've ever ventured into any of the fiction created for Dungeons & Dragons, you've probably heard of Drist, the legendary male drow hero. And as we look at these minis, we'll show you the magic card art that inspired them. This has to be the most dynamic pose we've ever gotten for any hero mini. Mid-leap, swords drawn, cape spinning in the wind, just amazing. Amazing. This, of course, doesn't have to be Drist. Get this mini and make your own melee fighter. This is just a fun mini to have on your table. He'd also make a fantastic Pathfinder swashbuckler. Next, we have Caddy Bree, a human fighter and a member of the Companions of the Hall. That hall being Mithril Hall, a dwarven stronghold beneath the spine of the world where this particular adventuring party made their name. This mini has a bit of a lean to it coming out of the box, something we often see on minis without thick legs. You can fix it up by putting it under hot tap water for a minute or two, reshaping it, and dunking it into an ice water bath. You sometimes have to do this a few times to get it to set properly. Her arrow there isn't attached to the bow, so you can also shape it a bit if you want to. Right now, it looks like she's in the middle of putting a shot together. Outside of Drist, this is probably my favorite mini in the set. This is Wolfgar, barbarian hero of Icewind Dale. I have never seen a more cocky looking mini. Look at the smile on this one. He also has a bit of a bend as well, so we need to fix that up, but that's easily done. I think you could also use this mini for either a female or a male barbarian. It would also make a fantastic mini for the leader of a barbarian tribe who you might encounter in your adventures in Rime of the Frost Maiden, Storm King's Thunder, or Quest for the Frozen Flame. Next we have Bruno Battlehammer, the Dwarven Fighter. As you can tell from looking at the card art there, the broken horn on his helmet is intended. While we don't really lack for Dwarf Fighter minis, this is a pretty nice one that's well painted. I really dig the detailing on his shield, and there's a nice metallic sheen on that pauldron as well. And Brunor actually appears in two 5e adventures, Storm King's Thunder and Out of the Abyss. Finally, we have Guinevere, Driss Black Panther companion, who's actually summoned from the astral plane by way of an onyx figurine of wondrous power. I am never going to complain about getting good animal minis. I always recommend keeping all your natural animals in a bag or a box together for your druid players. The more wild-shaped mini options they have, the more fun it is to play a druid. Not to mention all your other casters who may like to summon animals. Again, if you're a fan of the Drist books or comics or video games, you may want this set of minis just to have them. Otherwise, it is a solid set of PC or NPC minis with Drist and Wolfgar being standouts. We are missing the halfling member of the Companions of the Hall, Regis, who didn't get a magic card and who didn't appear in the recent Dark Alliance video game with his other companions here. R.A. Salvatore did tweet at the time of the game's release that old Regis Rumblebelly hasn't been forgotten. Slight spoilers here, but it seems like these characters are being plucked from early in their storyline when Regis was more of a man of leisure than a hero, which may explain his absence here. Now, I haven't read any of the Drizzt books yet, unfortunately, so if you have, I'm particularly interested in hearing what you think of this set. Let me know down in the comments section below. Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, Companions of the Hall Starter is available now for between 45 and 50 bucks. The word starter in the title does make me curious if we might see more versions of these characters down the road. Let's discuss.
If you're looking for a new campaign to run and maybe looking to introduce some new players to D&D, make sure you consider Humblewood by Hit Point Press. I've been running a Humblewood campaign for quite a while now and it is a great mix of an approachable, very cute setting with some fantastic art and a level one to five campaign that actually has some world altering, complex decisions that your party has to make. I love it so much and the artwork is outstanding. You can see our review of it in the corner of your screen right now. And if you buy the book or the box set, which includes map standees and beautiful reference cards, you can bundle in the Riffin plushie too, and you can get it all at a discount. Check it out at humblewood.com or use the link below the video here so they know we sent you. That's Humblewood by Hit Point Press. And our Kickstarter for our Cobalt plushies is ongoing. It'll only be running for a few weeks, so if you're interested in getting yourself some cute 10 inch tall Cobalt plushies with swappable outfits and accessories, get in before the Kickstarter is over because this will be the best price that you'll be able to get them for and you can help us fund, hopefully, additional accessory packs and maybe even more plushies down the road. We'll have to see. Just to see how the Kickstarter does. Well, I'm nervous. If you have any ideas for accessories, go leave them for us in the comment section of the Kickstarter. The great part about Kickstarter is that you get to help shape the future of this line of plushies. And we are looking for your input, so let us know. You can find the Kickstarter at cobaltplush.com. And thank you for watching today. Liking our videos here helps other people find us. Be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. You can join our Patreon to get early access to reviews and help shape our coverage here. You can find that at Patreon com slash the gallant goblin and come chat with us over on our discord channel you can also find us on twitter facebook and instagram for now stay safe have fun love each other adopt a kobold and i'll see you next time we'll see you next time at the gallant goblin mm -hmm.